Hi there, my name is Peggy from Inon Mosaic and today I'm rescuing a piece of mosaic uh, which was produced by one of my students and which looks absolutely lovely. Um, the reason I need to rescue this is because some of the towels came loose while she was crowding it and she didn't know how to handle this and I thought it's best if I do this, record it and then share it in case anybody else has a similar problem. Um, this uh, wonderful bee mosaic was produced as part of an outdoor uh, mosaic workshop uh, that I uh, lead it and uh, it's been made on an uh, outdoor board so I've used a back board, I've used a, a t-nut and a boat to secure the um, uh, hanging mechanism in uh, and that's one of the usual uh, mosaic tricks that you can do. I've sealed the edges with tile adhesive or thin set so that is weatherproof and as you can see on um, this video uh, the lady who, who grouted it has run out of grout so she's left some of the edges quite uh, rough okay which is something that I'm going to look at fixing a uh, little bit of scraping or even sandpaper will do that and here can you see the level of the grout is changing suddenly so I'm going to fix that so that no there is no uh, water infiltration when this will go outside um, the most important pieces though as you can see or I think you can see I've got a light very close to me just so I can uh, point out things um, if I hold it like this you can probably notice this um, bit of the antenna that's coming out and this bit of the uh, texture on the body, um, one loose tile there and one loose tile here and one sticking out a bit too much there. Okay, so I'm going to fix those and I've got my um, tools here, um, they're quite creepy but as a cer cer ceramist or a, 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 an artist who generally deals with 3D work um, you want to have a set of something similar, something pointy, a tool that's quite sharp and that is uh, strong so it doesn't bend when you want to work. The mosaic has been already grouted so my task now is to dig out some of the pieces, make sure I clean them, um, I stick them back on with either tile adhesive or even just the grout so I'll see how I feel about that. If there are many uh, loose ones then I might just um, uh, um, use some more tile adhesive to keep them in place if not I'll just place them in and then grout them and also grout the edges. The other bit that's kind of gone a bit wrong here is that the bee had two speckly eyes okay you can see that purple and one just got lost and those are bits that happen unfortunately things that happen when you don't even notice and then um, yeah when you look at it you feel like um, somehow the symmetry was lost so I've got a pair of gloves I'm wearing protective glasses always and some tweezers tweezers and my uh, dentistry tools okay I'm going to check so because this piece of tile well, was loose anyway shouldn't um, take much to uh, clean it and it shouldn't take much to put it back on so going to check how hard that is if it's too hard uh, I might just cut a fresh one out yeah instead of digging I think I'll just cut a fresh one because that will take way longer yeah look at the amount of tile adhesive that's got on it so I'm going to take another piece of yellow darker yellow and then or deeper yellow and do the same with this ones here so let's dig in uh, because um, because this piece has been grouted using uh, outdoor um, grout, they're really strong. I mean, look at this. I'm using a lot of pressure to try and take it off. All right, so that's come off. If um, what I would suggest, if a piece like this comes loose and um, uh, you can't really dig in because that's really, really, really hard, then what you do is uh, when you place back one of the tiles, you cut a bit off you uh, thin it down you get rid of the thickness so the thickness is generally four millimeters now you don't need that much on this piece because it's already got a bit of grout uh, or tile adhesive that's raising the level whereas here it looks like um, it is a little bit deeper okay right so let's um, let's finish all those it's probably not extremely clear from the camera view what's wrong with this but uh, from a side view you could see some of the pieces sticking out and not that's problematic but it's best that um, they look level so let me see if I can get this one out this one's quite 
quite a job to lift out. I always have protective glasses in case any loose grout or loose um, tiles come off and project or you're projecting them. I'm going to try and uh, get something a little bit stronger, maybe one of those, if I can lift that out, this, it doesn't feel that deep either, yeah, there you go, awesome, so done, mission accomplished, one more piece here to um, uh, get rid of. When I give up on this one, I'm going to perhaps just chip it off with some pliers because there's no way I can remove this and it's not even super covered in tile adhesive or grout. No, no response, no chance. Okay, so that will have to stay by the look of it. I'm going to give it a good shake and then... I'm going to start cutting the pieces and trying to uh, trying to replace them and then grout the whole piece once again. Okay, so I'll um, I have a little break to mix my um, to cut my pieces and mix my grout and then I'll uh, record back on. Okay. <laughs> Hello again. Um, I'm back after uh, a short break, um, a break from the camera, not from doing the work. Um, I thought instead of bore you with my process, I'm going to show you what I've done and just keep the video shorter. So after cleaning um, some of the areas here and there, yeah, just taking some of the, the grout off, removing some of the grout, um, I have then cut some of the tiles so the thickness or the tesserae in fact the thickness of the tesserae here is about four millimeter now I don't quite have that four millimeters everywhere especially where I had to remove the grout so instead of um, uh, scraping it so that it reaches the board level I have shortened so I have uh, I, I've um, changed the uh, thickness of the tiles by cutting a very uh, slice out of a very small slice out of it so that's more like a four millimeters whereas that's about two millimeters that means I get more depth to pu put the grout in and also sink in those um, tiles okay so or tesserae as we call them in the mosaic world so um, I figured out a way in which they can go so that they look even better leveled okay and I'm going to remove them because I'm going to show you the process I couldn't quite fit another piece like this speckly uh, because it's very 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 hard to remove the grout which is cement base but I did my best and managed to cut um, and fit in a very tiny piece of um, uh, speckly purple okay so I think it's better than nothing definitely looks more balanced when it's got even a little bit there the other piece that I've replaced is this one here there was quite a big hole there so there was no need for me to clean which was great because uh, I've probably had enough scraping by now I'd use the same technique here the grout wouldn't scrape completely so you can probably hear how hard this is it's not the sort of grout that you get in um, most of the uh, mosaic workshops or mosaic um, classes if I try and scrape a bit on the edges you can hear even that bit which is hanging that's very very solid okay so I'd suggest you do that you clean the edges by actually adding a bit more grout after scratching to create a better grip so oh that went didn't it that went pretty quickly actually so um, since I only have this one or two pieces left here on the edge I'm going to I'm going to remove them just to get a very smooth level. Okay. So you can probably hear that. Yeah, it takes a lot of force to remove any of the grout. Um, and that's why I've decided if I can use grout instead of tile adhesive to just take some of those missing 
bits, then um, you know, then I don't have to do two jobs at once. So they have to put talent this event then grout because this grout is so strong that um, you know it'll be enough on its own to keep the pieces. And since I don't have to do a lot of moving about, oh, there's one more here which I have to remember. Um, there isn't a lot of um, placing to do, so I can just remember which one was going where. So if you can see on this side, I put them into order. So those antennas two on the right hand side, one on the left, speckly on eye, uh, body, upper body, circle, um, uh, furry texture of the body here, and two slitters um, onto this um, yellow patch. So uh, apart from that, I'm going to nicely level all of the grout level here. So just that there isn't any um, chance for air, uh, uh, for for water to infiltrate here when the mosaic is ex exposed outside. Also, you could see some of the mesh on the side, some of the fiberglass mesh um, that's been uh, primed or uh, sealed with tile adhesive. So tile adhesive will give your grout a very very good grip. Right, so um, I've mixed some grout here, very dark color, yeah, and it's quite thick. So I'm going to individually place those tiles. With getting the consistency of the grout right, I, um, I tried to rush a little bit the video here so that you don't have to um, watch um, every single step but get the overall idea. Um, the grout was drying really fast, so I'm uh, kind of in the beginning working a little bit like clay. So I'm uh, manipulating, I'm moving, I'm modeling in a way the clay, uh, but trying to rush it so that it doesn't dry too soon. Uh, I keep giving it a good stir to make sure the life um, spam is increased and then gently placing one tile at a time. I find this method work best because it meant I didn't have to uh, mix more tile adhesive and since I tried it myself and I knew how strong the, this grout um, is I didn't have to worry about uh, those pieces becoming loose later on. I'm still going to grout the whole piece once this is done so um, yeah just uh, making sure everything goes in the right place at the right angle making sure that whatever I set up to do uh, and that was getting a smooth level uh, rather than style sticking out is something that I'm carrying on throughout the uh, process. After placing each individual missing part um, I then take a sponge and with the sponge I grout gently around the missing piece making sure that I don't move it so when I um, when I touch those uh, loose pieces, I take extra caution um, and by adding extra grout, it means I'm also securing the sides of the tiles, not just the underneath. And then since I'm all covered in grout and my tools are getting all covered, might as well carry on and just grout the whole piece, making sure that I'm focusing on the edges, making sure that I get the really smooth edge and this um, this tiny mosaic which is only 20 by 20 will, that will end up looking a little bit like a stepping stone and indeed it's a wonderful idea to uh, create a similar stepping stone because it just has that type of texture to it. After grouting the edges I realized another piece was um, um, sticking out so I, uh, I um, removed that and grouted it all the way through the um, border of the um, of my shape. Um, after covering everything in grout I'm going to take this downstairs where um, near a sink and I'm going to gently wipe off the excess grout after 15 minutes and then let it set until tomorrow. 
after 24 hours I've cleaned my mosaic really well uh, one more time and I'm really pleased with how everything has turned out I have replaced the missing part on the eye, the antennas, the uh, middle of the upper body uh, the, the, the stripes on the yellow stripes on the lower body and uh, I removed a loose tile on the corner of the mosaic now I'm really impressed with how this has turned up considering uh, my student will really have struggled to remove all this because first she hasn't got the tools second she doesn't have the replacement third she didn't have enough grout to finish it so I took credit and helped out in this case on this instance and I'm really happy to know that everybody who's done a mosaic workshop feels like um, they can um, call me if they need extra help and I'm happy that those um, um, those mosaics will go on their walls and my intention is to make them last a lifetime so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I know it's been long but hopefully it's been really useful bye for now